So you're in a Super Marmu and you're getting ready for a downwind sail? I want to show you how I get my poles up. Yeah, it's down. But babe, I'm going to get my poles up. Why did you take the red pill? In order to have days like this, you're going to have days like this. This is Tips on Tuesday. We're going to talk about what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Stay tuned so you don't feel like doing this. If you like these videos, please subscribe and give us a like. And if you have anything to add to the conversation or any questions, please leave them below. You want to get ready for a downwind sail on a Super Marmu? You first got to get your poles up. So here we go. This is the first step to getting your pole up. This is your topping lift for the pole on the starboard side. The first thing you want to do is you want to get a mark lined up and you'll have to make that mark. The second thing you're going to do is get your topping lift off the side. Now bring it around everything and hook it up on the top side. So the top side is going to be where this, this is. So this is the top, it's going to go right here on the top. So now you just connect your topping lift to the top side. Now this is tied up so it just gives you a a little bit of a safety if something happens with that lock you'll have something tied to your boat keeping the pole in one position and so this here stays on the pole and as long as it's on the pole you'll see how I use it later but now let's unhook the pole So now your pole's unhooked. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back and you get to the middle of the pole. So you've got the same amount of weight on the front and the back. And lift it and pull it out. And you'll see that the pole is actually attached to one of the stanchions in the front. So now we're gonna pull it out. Now your pole is only on the deck. So you're going to lift the pole up, get it right about in the middle so it's balanced, and then you're just going to walk it back. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to push it up and in. Now your pole's in the slot. And the reason why you want that marked over, over there is so that you can, now you know exactly where this is gonna end up. Ends up there, you don't have to move it around. Now what you can do is you can tie this. Onto the stainless steel poles. So now it's all set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our rope set. Come on, let me show you. So there's three lines that you have to hook up to get your poles out. The yellow line. The yellow line goes to the middle and it's the downhaul. The blue line is what pulls the pole forward. And we'll show you hooking that up. And the red line pulls the pole back. So you have four lines that attach to the, the pole. One that pulls it up, one that pulls it down, one that pulls it forward, and one that pulls it back. So now we're gonna get those all hooked up. The first line that we're gonna hook up is the blue line.
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the blue line out on the side of everything. Now, since this is pulling it up, this one is gonna pull it out. Or pull it forward. Now, some people might have a question, which set you use for front and back? The forward, the one that pulls it forward and the one that pulls it backward has the most tension on it. Less tension takes it up and down. So you want more torque and that's why the farthest back is the front that pulls it forward and pulls it backward. So we got our blue line hooked up. Let's go tighten that one up. Then you want to make it neat, so let's get this all straightened up. Okay, so now the blue line's connected. Now the yellow line. The yellow line is the downhaul, and it connects right here. Now the thing about the yellow line is it has a mark on it right there and that mark should go just like that so the mark is right next to the cleat now let's take that out and hook up the yellow line now the yellow line is the downhaul and what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the opposite side of the uphaul Now we're going to go back and we're going to tighten up the yellow line. We just have to make sure that all the other lines are on the outside of it. So we're going to tighten up that yellow line just so it's fairly tight. You'll see why later. It makes it for a neater, it makes it just a little bit neater. And you can also do something with this line, but I don't know what to do with it. We can just like put it around. So, that's the yellow line. Now the red line is the back hall. And the red line attaches to this cleat right here. So it comes out of here And it goes opposite of the, the forward hall. So here is your mark. So this is the mark that you're using to actually put your red line. So the red line's right there and it goes around. Just like the yellow, the red has a mark there. This is the mark right here. All right, so now you have all of this extra line. What do you do with that? Pull it back up and over. So it keeps this out of your way, keeps it out of your way of your, your Genoa sheet. So everything's out of the way. Then bring it down and bring it around like that and this is just this is just extra you can just leave it off to the side so now it's out of the way you have your whole pole up pole's not going anywhere it's tied up see it's tied up here and all the lines are tight and all the lines are out of the way if you got lines everywhere they could get tangled they could get tangled in your Genoa sheet and then got problems so this is the best way I found 
to set up to go downwind before you take off. And this is all stuff to, to do before you take off. Don't try this in the middle of the ocean. If you know you're gonna have a downwind sail, you don't wanna be out here in huge waves, you know, trying to work, work on getting your poles up. Get your pole up both sides before you take off. So now we've got it all set up. So if we were gonna put up the ballooner, and we're not gonna put up the ballooner right now, this is already attached to the ballooner and it's ready to go. So we would take this line, we'd undo it, and we would take it around everything all the way back. And we would put it through here. And then we would remove this line here and put it up over the side. So you would take this line out This is only when you're gonna set up your ballooner. And this would be done out at sea. Because what you would wanna do first is you wanna make sure that you're ready for anything in the beginning, and then you're gonna put up your ballooner later. But what you do is you take this line out, set it up over here, take that green line all the way back through here, and then to your winch right here. Now what I wanna do is show you how to get your pull out. So let's say you were gonna put out your Genoa and you were gonna pull out on the starboard side. Well, first you have to get your Genoa sheet on the end of the pole. This is what I do. You might wanna do it a different way, but what I do is I want this, this line out of here. So I take that line out, I put, I put it through the end of the pole and lock it in. Then I take this line through the block. And of course my Admiral will tell me that I have to get a knot on the end of this. The next thing you do, if you're gonna be doing this by yourself, is you're gonna go forward, you're gonna get the blue line. So get your blue line, get it all untangled. And undo it. And this is gonna be done in the middle of the ocean. You're gonna come back, you're gonna be waving around a lot. You're gonna get to the yellow, yellow line and you're gonna release your yellow line. So, that it is just like that. So now it's released. Keep on going back. Now you get back to the red line. So now you're gonna release the red line back to where your mark is right there. All of this is ready to go out. And of course, this is done all in the middle of the ocean when you're ready to put out your, your pole. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna unlock. So now it's ready to go out. You're gonna put a bunch of tension on your blue line and you're gonna send it out. So once you get your pull out, you're just gonna, you're gonna keep tension and you're gonna pull it up.
Now, once you've got that done, then all you have to do is use your topping lift to pull your pole up. So now my pole is up. It's erect and good. Now you're ready to take out Rich and Noah. So you can see that your Genoa is ready to come out. You just have to get it around the winch and then take your Genoa all the way out. And that is how you get up your pole. All right, let's take it down real quick. See the mark there? You bring it down to the mark. Now you're ready to release and bring it back. back where it's supposed to be. Now you're ready to get everything tied back up again. So we go forward. We pull this tight a little bit. And let's lock that in. Let's get this thing put back away. all put away. You need to get your yellow line pulled back. Now let's get our red line done back up again. Oh, wait a second. Let's get this tied back around. Okay, and then the red line is the most important one because you want the red line completely out of the way. Let's get, get our sheet back in. So your red line, you want it out of the way of everything. So bring it up and over like before. and then get it out of the way. Bring it down, around, and then tighten it off here. So that way everything's neat and clean. And now what you can do, if you're not gonna be using the pole on the starboard side, tape out. If you're gonna use the pole again, then just leave everything together. But if you're not, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Genoa sheet back out. You're gonna get it put back. Because all your lines are out of the way, it makes this a lot easier. Now you can just get it through. Take it back through your block in the back. Pull this tight. So now you got a clean run. Get it back around your winch. And you're ready to pull out your Genoa without your pole. So it's fairly easy. Um, there's a couple hacks that I, I did by putting the red line through here, getting it out of the way, tightening up the blue line to make sure that it's out of the way, and tightening up the yellow line so that it's out of the way. So the blue line is on the outside, and that's our Genoa sheet.
and the blue lines tightened up, yellow lines tight, everything's tight, and it's good because now you can sail like this without anything getting in your way, and when you have to, you just got it all there to pull, pull out your pole, nice and easy. If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, click one of those. They said they came from Spanish. Oh.